All right, so this question is pretty easy. It says that the Hamiltonian operator for a two-state system is given by h is equal to a times uh, ket1 times bra1 minus ket2 times bra2 plus ket1 times bra2 plus ket2 times bra1, where a is a number with a dimension of energy. You have to find the energy eigenvalues and the corresponding energy eigenkets as linear combinations of uh, ket1 and ket2. Alright, so to proceed this question, let's assume that this ket1, since it's a two-state system, we'll assume 1 to be 1, 0, and 2 to be 0, 1 matrices. So we can calculate the corresponding matrices, uh, which is this one here. We have to calculate 1, 1, 2, 2, uh, 1, 2, and uh, 2, 1. Right. So let's calculate them. So 1, 1 would be just 1, 0, 1, 0, which will be 1, 0, 0, 0. Then 2, 2 would be just 0, 1, 0, 1, which would be 0, 0, 0, 1. Then we have 1, 2, which will be 1, 0, 0, 1, which would be 0, 1, 0, 0. And uh, next we have 2, 1, which would just be 0, 1 times 1, 0 which will be equal to 0, 0, 1, 0. All right, so H, which is the Hamiltonian, is given to us like A times, yeah, this whole thing. So it is A times 1 minus, was it minus or was it plus? It was minus and the rest are plus, so minus 2, 2 plus 1 2 plus 2 1 so now if we calculate the Hamiltonian we have a times uh, if we add up all these matrices we'll get 1 1 1 and minus 1 because this here for 2 2 was minus so we'll get minus 1 for the fourth element now it's uh, just an eigenvalue problem we just treat it as an eigenvalue problem since if we add some state shy with uh, the hamiltonian we'll get some eigenvalue lambda with the state shy back so we can calculate h bar minus lambda as determinant which would be equal to zero so we'll have a 1 1 1 minus 1 and we have assumed lambda to be the eigenvalue and there would be an identity matrix here which would be 1 0 0 and 1 which would be equal to 0 so the whole determinant should be equal to 0 um, so the matrix would be a minus lambda a a and minus a minus lambda which we can write just minus a plus lambda this should be equal to 0 so this would be minus a square minus lambda square minus a square is equal to 0 so the value of lambda square we are getting as 2a square which just implies lambda is equal to plus minus 2a root 2a so there are two eigenvalues which would be plus root 2a and minus root 2a so there would be two eigenvectors for each of these eigenvalues so for this eigenvalue let's consider this vector eigenvector to be psi 1 and this one let's consider it to be psi 2 so let's solve for psi 1 first so we let psi1 
as s1 and s2 where s1 and s2 are the two elements of the eigenvector psi1 and now again we can use the eigenvalue equation with the first eigenvalue the eigenvalue for this was root 2a and psi1 so here we are getting a times 1 1 1 minus 1 times s1 s1 is equal to root 2a s1 s1 so a cancels from both sides and we'll be getting this equation which would be s1 plus s2 s1 minus s2 equals root 2 times s1 s2 so as you can see we'll get two equations from here one would be s1 plus s2 is equal to root 2 s1 and the second one would be s1 minus s2 equals root 2 s2 so we can use any of these two equations i'll be using the second one so this equation from this equation we can write that 1 minus root 2 times s1 plus s2 would be equal to 0 so we can write s2 is just equal to minus of s1 times 1 minus root 2 or s2 is equal to s1 root 2 minus 1 now again since now again since it's a eigenvector we know that psi 1 elements are s1 s2 this will it's a normalized eigenvector so it should satisfy this condition that s1 square plus s2 square should be equal to 1 so we'll put this value over here of s2 so we get s1 square plus root 2 minus 1 s1 square is equal to 1 uh, so we get s1 square we can take common times 1 plus root 2 minus 1 there will be a square here square is equal to 1 so we get s1 square is equal to 1 by 1 plus this would be 2, there would be a 2 root 2, there would be a negative 2 root 2 and plus 1. Yeah, we get this value which is just equal to 1 by 4 minus 2 root 2. So S1 is just 1 by under root 4 minus 2 root 2. Now from the relation of S1 and S2 which was this we can find the value of S2 so S2 would be just uh, root 2 minus 1 by under root 4 minus 2 root 2 this is the second value and so we can write psi1 as a whole now so psi1 would be s1 s2 which we can further write it in a linear combination of the ket1 and ket2 so we can write s1 times ket1 plus s2 times ket2 so we'll just put the values of s1 and s2 here which is under root 1 by 4 minus 2 root 2 and s2 is 1 minus root 2 oops i'm sorry this would be root 2 minus 1 by 4 minus 2 root 2 under root 2 
so this is the value of psi 1 that we are getting for psi 2 also you can calculate it in the same way psi 2 you will be using the value lambda is equals to minus under root 2a you will use this value you can find the value of psi 2 I will give you the answer the answer comes out to be psi 2 is equal to let me check it once yeah it's minus 1 by 4 plus 2 root 2 get 1 plus root 2 plus 1 by under root 4 plus 2 root 2 oh, there will be an under root here as well 2 so this will be the value for psi 2 that you will get if you calculate it uh, take it as a small homework and work it out it's just a um, problem with some calculation just a simple eigenvalue problem I'm sure you will be able to do this so that would be all if you like the content that I'm making please support the channel by subscribing to it and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye